Each marketplace may have mandatory parameters for a given category. This is a sales channel requirement to be able to list an offer. If we have detailed products in stock, we can fill in the parameters automatically. By switching to the parameters option, we have a number of bold parameters here, which are obligatory to list an offer. Let's check what data our product has. Go to Data, and then Details. We have a complete list of information about our product here. We can map the parameter mapping rules with this information. At the very bottom, there is also a list of features. Let's continue. As you can see, some parameters have already defined values. It is not possible to enter your own here. Only use the value that the given marketplace allows. Let's go to the Categories and Parameters, and then Allegro Parameters tab. Well-configured mapping rules will allow us to quickly list offers on a given marketplace in the future. Let's click on Add Parameter. On the left, in the first field, select the Allegro Parameter. Our rule of thumb is to put the SKU number in this place. Let's save. The next mapping will be the manufacturer. However, in this case, we have to map the name of our manufacturer with the name of the manufacturer on the Allegro side. Let's click Add Mapping. Choose Value in Storage. In our case, it is Baselinker. And Value in Allegro. Choose a random company. We approve the selected manufacturer. Let's click Save. Let's go back to listing and verify that the data has been read correctly. In the listing form, in the parameters option, the manufacturer's code has been read correctly. As for the manufacturer field, the company that we randomly selected during the mapping was also selected. As you can see, we still lack the model position. We return to the Categories and Parameters and Allegro Parameters category. We add a parameter. We enter Model. Let's set it as a constant value. Let it be a random value, for example, Clio Denial. Let's save. Let's go to the listing form again and check if all the mandatory parameters are already filled in. In the parameters option, as you can see, model is entered as Clio Denial. All mandatory parameters have been correctly completed based on the mapping rules. During the listing, we still have the Common Auction Settings section. This can be configured by the administrator who connected the Allegro account to the Baselinker account. Completion of the mandatory parameters is the same on any other sales channel. Let's see what it looks like on eBay. Let's go to Product Listing. Choose a random product and go to the listing form. In the Parameters options, as you can see, the obligatory parameters are brand and screen size. We go into Categories and Parameters. Go to the eBay Parameters tab, choose the market that interests us. We type Marca. We choose the copy from field manufacturer from the storage operation. The mapping has been added. We confirm the rule by clicking Save. Let's immediately add the next rule. That is screen size. Let's put a constant value. For example, 10.1 inches. We save. We move on to listing. Let's choose the product in the market. 
As you can see in the parameter options, we have these parameters completed. That is, the product would be ready for display. The situation is similar in Shopee. We create rules in the same way as for other marketplaces. Let's move on to listing and check what mandatory parameters we have to complete. We have to enter information on warranty. We enter the parameters option. As you can see, we have empty parameters, warranty time, categories and parameters, then Shopee parameters. In this case, we will create a mapping rule with a constant value. We add a parameter on warranty type. As you can see, the parameters have been correctly completed. That is, the parameter with warranty types has been added.